Hey everybody, Jared back again, and in this video we're going to do some benchmarks on the new Sony Xperia ZL. Uh, now to run down some specs, it is running a Qualcomm quad-core 1.5 GHz processor with an Adreno 320 GPU with a total of 2 GB of RAM. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started, but before we do, um, like I say in all of my benchmarking videos, make sure that you don't um, take the numbers to heart. Uh, you know, I've seen devices that score lower than others, and they seem to run quite better on everyday tasks and just performance-wise um, than those other devices that do clock a little bit higher. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with run full benchmark, and uh, we'll go ahead and time lapse this. We'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, and we're back. That was a quick one. Go ahead and press proceed. And there we go. 7890 compared to the HTC One X and following down below. In third place, the, uh, the uh, Asus or Asus, depending on what you want to say, uh, Transformer Prime. So all of the numbers down there at the bottom, uh, I know it's a little bit hard to see there. We'll see if we can focus that in for you. Uh, the lighting isn't that great. But there it is. Nevertheless, if you want to pause the video, you can. And we'll go ahead and set that back down and refocus the camera, although it is difficult on these DSLRs. Go ahead and back out, clear the recent task one more time, and we'll jump into N22. We're going to finish up with the new GL benchmark 2.7, but uh, obviously we're going to be doing N22 uh, first. Hurry up, will ya? There we go. And start test, and we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, we're done, and our final result is 20,162. Uh, so there is your score. Uh, actually, not too bad on Antutu. Um, there has been considerably worse out there, obviously. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and move on to our final test of the day. I'll go ahead and clear that one out, and we'll jump into GL Benchmark. <laughs> So there we go. There's our final results with GL Benchmark 2.7. Uh, we clocked in at, uh, or we uh, tested 706 frames, and we got an average of 13 frames per second. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it at all interesting, go ahead and click that likes button down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. Uh, also, stay tuned for some other videos like the um, front-facing camera and rear-facing camera tests, uh, as well as my final review of this Sony device or this premium Sony device. We'll see about that. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.